Hi, I'm Kate Sutherland. This is my brand new book, The Bones Are There, and I'm going to read to you uh, a little bit from it. I'm going to read from section three of the book, titled Familiar, which is a long poem sequence about extinct frog species, and I'm just going to dip in and out and read you about a third of it. Familiar. Spiny knee leaf frog, Phryna medusa fimbriata, Collected by Hermann Ludervolt, Southeastern Brazil, 1898. Adult female, 46 millimeters snout to vent. Known only from the holotype. Tip of the snout, left tympanum, cut. Incision throat to groin. Exposing musculature, organs. Only a very thin skin connects femur and tibia. 25 years post-collection, coloration, pale blue above, reddish yellow below, iris, silver, all since faded to white, not seen in over a century, extinct. Agnes Thompson confessed that she took a black toad, hung it up by the heels for three days, and collected the venom that dropped from it in an oyster shell. She kept the venom close covered until she should obtain a piece of linen cloth that had appertained to the king. A shirt, a handkerchief, a napkin. She said if she had obtained any one piece that the king had fouled, she'd have bewitched him to death. Executed. 1591. Kill a frog with chloroform. Cut off the head with stout scissors. To make a woman tell all she has done, take a pigeon's heart and a frog's head, dry and reduced to powder. Sleep with me for two nights, then chop off my head. At first the girl wouldn't. Then she went and took an axe and cut the head off him. A female in bad condition, a male poorly preserved, a specimen of unknown provenance. Fetch me an axe and chop off my head. Remove the skin carefully. Introduce one blade of the scissors into the cranial cavity. Cut through the nerves as far from the brain as possible. When the steel touched him, he grew into a handsome youth. When they pushed her into the flames, a swarm of toads burst from the top of her head. Mount Glorious Torrent Frog, Todactylus diurnus, collected by I. R. Strawn, Australia, 1965. Adult male, 24.6 millimeters snout to vent. Small, gray-brown, females cream beneath, with sparsely spotted throats. Males' white spotted throats lack vocal sacs. Dwell in streams, permanent or ephemeral, tall open forest, vine forest, fern forest, pure stands of palms. Breed in warm water after heavy rain, deposit eggs in gelatinous clumps. Adults forage the forest floor, larvae, small insects. Tadpoles are bottom dwellers, scrape food from the substrate with umbrella-shaped lips. Males of this species call soft, chuckling sounds repeat, infrequent, eek, eek. Last recorded in the wild in 1979, extinct. Joan Upney confessed that a witch came to her house, gave her a toad, and told her if she owed anybody any ill will, it would go clap them if she bit it. She has never been without some toads since. She said that one day she left a toad under the ground sill at John Harold's house, and it pinched his wife and sucked her till she died. She said that one day another toad went over her threshold as Richard Foster's wife was coming that way, and it went and pinched her. She said that her eldest daughter would never abide to meddle with her toads, but her youngest daughter would handle them and use them as well as herself. Executed. 
1589. Daughter of a certain innkeeper, a nobleman's maidservant, the widow's eldest daughter, a witch, a female frog, conveys Ova Ranarum into an apple, offers him a most beautiful apple, warns that her imp will get into his throat, swallows her fertilized eggs. Unwanted things breed in his stomach. Larvae brood in the belly. A feast of toads. An abundance of little frogs. She vomits up two lizards and two frogs. At every word she speaks comes from her mouth a snake or a toad. Propulsively ejects six living tadpoles, eight juvenile frogs. She pours the urine of a mare newly made on the frogs, and they die. The toads were pithed, their stomachs removed. Witches secretly learn poisons, filters, and recipes. Kept in obscurity among old women, learned men and philosophers forbear to mention, because the species is near to extinction, we study only five female frogs. Many species do not conform to the life cycle of the common European frog. The bones are there. <laughs>